Hi, Achim here from Space Explorers. Basically, I wanted to do an uh, in-water video today, but <laughs> we live in crazy times. I went to the lake, actually at 8 this morning, and I was driving around for almost 30 minutes and I could not find a single spot where I could park my car in a distance where it would have been reasonable to walk down to the water. So complete mayhem, people screaming at each other and... Pfft. Yeah, too many people. Um, for the recreation areas around town. Um, so I actually just went back home and decided I'll do something else, which is MOD. It's a topic that uh, has been requested quite a few times. Uh, people see markings on stages that I'm driving, etc., and uh, get confused with the numbers. And I actually try to do this today in metric and imperial numbers. Um, for all of you who are not uh, familiar with the metric system, and um, yeah, I hope that clarifies a little bit. So before I get into the MOD topic, if you like my content, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you have not done that already, and if you subscribe, please hit that little notification bell so you get a uh, notification when I upload new content, which normally is once a week. All right, let's talk about MOD. MOD stands for Maximum Operation Depth and defines the maximum depth, depth where you can breathe the gas. Um, so obviously, looking in the numbers, uh, that is not defined by one single spot because I often hear MOD is defined by 1.6 PO2 oxygen. So that can be correct, but it's not always the case. So if we think about oxygen as an example and as our first guess here on my little chart, um, then yeah, um, you can breathe down oxygen to 6 meters uh, or 20 feet which gives you a PO2, partial pressure of oxygen, of 1.6 bars, which we define as a maximum that we want to be exposed to in the water. Obviously, when we talk about hyperbaric treatment, etc., we talk about different numbers, but maximum PO2 that we want to experience in the water is 1.6 in rest, in decompression. So, yeah, here's my metric numbers, the PO2, the imperial numbers, and then we talk a little bit about the different gases and what we use them for. So you see, the, these are basically the markings that you can see on stages. Obviously, there's plenty more. I just took a couple of very common examples to give you a better idea of why I, we do what we do. So my decompression tank containing pure oxygen would be labeled with 6 meters or with 20 feet. It contains pure oxygen, which I then use for decompression purposes. And the maximum operation depth for that is 1.6. So that's the maximum. That's why it says 6 meter. So the next guess would be Nitrox 50. And the tank would be labeled 21 meters or 70 feet. But already there, it's 1.55. It's not 1.6 again. So of course, that has something to do with the 3 meter increments that we have when we ascend. Uh, so think about it, you come up from like 30, 27, 24, 21, 18, 15, 12, 6, 3. Um, so we stay in these uh, 3 meter increments. And uh, obviously, you want to you wanna match one of those. It doesn't make any sense to do the 3 meter increments and then do a guess switch at 22, for example, instead of 21 meters or at uh, 75 feet instead of 70 feet. So Obviously, that arranges a little bit, but at the same time, the deeper I go, the less I want to risk being at this borderline of 1.6, so to speak. So it also adds a little bit of safety margin. Very minor and uh, probably not even noticeable, but it shows a direction, it shows a trend, so to speak. And you will see what I'm talking about when we talk about the other gases. So the next one here would be 30. So... Um, you will really see a 30 meter bottle. There's actually a 36 meter bottle when it comes to um, decompression gases for deeper trimix dives. I haven't covered that here because it probably adds some confusion. But a 30 meter bottle would be something for recreational diving containing 32% nitrox, which is a standard gas used all over the world in recreational diving. And we defined that we do not want to go deeper than 30 meters with nitrox 30. And that gives you a PO2 of roughly 1.3, so 1.28. And um, that is basically the PO2 that I do not want to exceed in my recreational diving. Of course, I want to not go to that edge of 1.6. 
in my recreational diving also because it limits my time. So remember, if you look at the CNS clock at uh, 1.6 bars, you will have 45 minutes till you reach 100% CNS and then you're like fully saturated uh, and that's not want, what, what you want, especially in recreational diving, thinking about maybe multiple dives a day. So here the MOD of the gas is by far not defined by 1.6. It's a different number, which still is very reasonable, but it has nothing to do with this 1.6. And now actually we have the prime example, in my opinion, which is 2135, a trimix mixture containing 21% oxygen, 35% helium, 44% nitrogen. And you find bottles with, nitro, uh, with uh, Trimix 2135 with two different labels. One would be 45 meters or 150 feet or 57 meters, which is like 190 feet. So, and you might scratch your head like, how can that be? And it depends what I want to use this, uh, this tank for. If I use this tank as a bottom gas, so um, Let's say I use it as a bailout gas for my rebreather. So I do a, a trimix dive with my rebreather in the 50 meter range. My open circuit bailout ga gas would be 2135. For example, it could be 1845, really depending on which uh, level I am with the rebreather, what's my defined maximum depth. But let's say that's why I'm taking this tank uh, with me. It would be labeled 45, which is my switch depth. Th th this is from where I want to use this gas as a bottom gas, as a breathing gas and not as a decompression gas. And it would be 1.16, which means at a bottom dive, at a, at a bottom gas, um, that I'm breathing at depth and probably on a dive where I have decompression afterwards, where I want to accelerate my decompression by using high PO2s. Obviously I want to have a low PO2 on the bottom. So here my MOD for that gas is defined by 1.16. That's what's labeled on the, uh, on the tank, 45 meters, 150 feet. So if I use the same gas as a decompression gas, let's say I do a deep dive using, for example, 1080 as a bottom gas, and I'm coming up, my first decompression gas would be 2135, which first of all allows me to switch deep to a decompression gas, which also makes my bailout strategy a little bit easier because I do not have to carry that much deep bailout gas because it only has to take me to, let's say, 57 meters, i.e. 190 feet, instead of bringing me up to, let's say, 30 something meters. Um, <clears throat> and then obviously that's used as a decompression gas and it has a PO2 of 1.4 which again, it's a deep decompression gas. I do not want to start with 1.6. First of all, I do not want to have the risk to be on that borderline at that depth, because if I get an O2 hit at 57 meters, that's definitely not what I want to have. Whilst on six meters, I'm really close to the surface at, um, at the end of my decompression schedule. So that's more forgiving, so to speak. So obviously I want to have my PO2 loading lower than you know, on a shallow part of the dive. And that's where I have my MOD defined by 1.42. So I hope, I mean, these, these two are actually um, making that crystal clear. Using it as a bottom gas, 45 meters, 1.16. Using it as a deco gas at 57 was 1.42, 150 feet, 190 feet. The last one is again a bottom gas. Uh, maximum gas, uh, maximum depth 75 meters or 250 feet at 1.28. Um, here again, the rebreather divers will be like, oh yeah, that makes sense. 1.3 as the common uh, PO2 that I'm running my rebreather at. Um, so that would define the maximum depth using that gas as a bottom gas was 1.28 PO2 and by far again, not 1.6. So as I said, this is really just an example. I just took out some examples. Um, there's, there's plenty and plenty and plenty more, but it doesn't make sense to go through 20 different numbers here, uh, which also might con confuse some of you. So especially those of you who are not into technical diving, and this is a little bit like, who, what is he talking about? But um, yeah, when you read MOD, don't get the wrong impression that this always defines that gas with 1.6 PO2, that's completely wrong. And that's what I hear a lot. And then people think like, yeah, what is this MOD thing? So is it is it based on PO2? Is it based on narcotic depth or whatever? So it is not, It's uh, it really defines the target depth um, to 
which I can go with that gas if it is my bottom uh, gas and it is defined as the switch step if it is my decompression gas. So again, if I use um, bottom gas 2135, I can use it down to 45 meters. So it's my target depth, the maximum depth that I can go to with that gas. <clears throat> if I use it as a deco gas, it is my switch depth at 57 meters. I would switch to 2135 if I'm coming up. And obviously having the two different um, functions of the gas, so to speak, um, I use them with a different PO2. The low PO2 if I want to use it as a, as a bottom gas, the high PO2 if I want to use it as a decompression gas. That's very brief. I still hope this uh, explains a little bit the concept. If you have questions, comments, or if you want to hear more about this, please put it in the comment section. If you want to discuss it a little bit more in detail with me personally, have a look at the Patreon site and uh, that's normally where I answer all the questions and where I discuss things on a more private base. And uh, talking about the Patreon side, a lot of people ask, where can I get your English audio book? It's also on Patreon. So if you are interested, please check that out. Have a nice Sunday. Take care and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.